So what is up you guys, in this video we are starting it off differently, not really. Uh, we're going to a drift event and uh, I'm going to be drifting a Mayhem replica course event. So if you guys don't know the Mayhem course, I had filmed an uh, event out there earlier this year but I didn't drift it sadly. And this time they're redoing it and it's supposed to be a little bit better than the last time and I'm going to try and slide it. So let's see how that goes. All right, you guys, so we made it out here, and as you see, it is freaking raining, which sucks, because this is a scary course, well, for me at least, because um, I suck at drifting in the rain, and it's like the freaking wall. The wall is intimidating. I haven't been out there yet, but I just know it's going to be intimidating from seeing people crash it last time I was here and stuff. Um, the first groups already went out there. It's the second group now. I'm in the third group out of four groups. We have a shit ton of drivers. And uh, yeah, so I got the car already, a pass tech, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm about to get out there and just show you guys some clips of the guys that are already out there right now. And I uh, hope you like it. of everyone else driving the rain is just really annoying and we don't have an umbrella or anything to like stop my camera from getting wet i'm gonna try and film some more after my group goes but can't promise like really really good clips because of the rain it's just really annoying but yeah i'm about to be going out here soon if you want to cruise up to the back of the line just go real slow because people are out on track okay they don't in a second. all right sounds good for like my first time out here which just like everyone's going crazy out here it's sort of it's my first time doing a event where they hot lap it so and I don't know it like I only know one of the other drivers out here
the other side. Accelerate the back end just goes out on him, you know? Yeah. Too much horsepower. You alive? Oh, yeah. Alright, let me know I'm just trying to get the hood off. Yeah. I might be able to go back out there. Because he said it, 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 it might be leaking something. Yeah, you caught frame, which is actually a good thing, but. All right, you guys, so as you saw, uh, I sort of fucked my uh, T40 up, and crashed into the wall. I'm about to turn it around and show you guys what it's looking like now. So I mean, to be honest, it's not too, too bad. I'm just hoping I don't have like any like really terribly bad frame damage. Like the frame did take a little hit, and it's you can see it's bent just at the tip of it. But I don't know how far back it went because I might be able to get away with the two front. But I'm definitely taking it back out there. I'm gonna be drifting some more, uh, see how the car does. I'm not gonna go as crazy and uh, get sloppy again. I'm trying not to get sloppy at all, uh, especially with the wall and everything. But yeah, the, the damage it's. There's no leaks or anything. I didn't crack my radiator or nothing like that. So, as a plus, um, I'm not bummed about it really. Which I know a lot of people they put a lot of time and effort into their car and stuff, and then when they wreck it, it's like they're hurt, like shit ton. But it's like it comes with the freaking game. Like when you're drifting out here and stuff, you'll probably hear it from a lot of people. Like you're going to fucking wreck. So just wanted to put that out there. That's like I'm not super bummed. Like. I already have some stuff that I'm going to be doing to this car. If not, if I can't do it to this car now, I'm going to be doing it to another car, just find another chassis. But I got some stuff in the works, and uh, so I'm not too worried about it. It happens, so. Yeah, I'm about to be getting back out there soon. See if I can get some more clips for you guys. It's still raining, so uh, we'll just see where it goes.
tell you what just freaking happened. I freaking sent it again. Oh yes. I did it. I went back out there with the car all beat up. I lost my filter out there. Well I, I got it back but it fell off while I was drifting. It didn't really affect how I was drifting but it drifted perfectly fine. I was proud of it. So nothing sus uh, suspension wise or steering wise is fucked up. It literally just the front radiator support got messed up a little bit. And then the tip of my frame got bent, but it, lo it doesn't look like the bend went far back. You guys can't really see it, but it's bent, but it's only from like right at the tip before the, uh, I forgot what that freaking is, the tension, where, wherever the tension bar goes. I think it's a tension bar. Yeah. Wherever that gets supposed to do, it's, it's in front of that, so it's more this way. But yeah. Not sure what I'm going to end up doing, most likely going to front, but yeah, I took it back out there, the car sent it, it was freaking awesome, it did good, so that's a plus. So it's the day after the drift event, it's all over, basically we just headed out after uh, my second session out there, uh, basically the session after the wreck had already occurred with my car, Yeah, the rain was just like, it started picking up slowly, like it, it never got to like a had a bad downpour like if it was like a freaking hurricane or anything but the rain just kept on like going like even after the event just all day so it was pretty shitty and of course it gets dark out now and stuff um so it's like done like my feet were soaked my whole body was soaked everyone out there was basically soaked walking around like their feet were freezing and shit so that's how the event basically went uh i have to say it was a fucking awesome event by east 10 uh, it sucked that I hit the wall, of course, but I was able to still go back out there and shred and send it and do what I like to do. So that's always a good thing and a plus. Uh, I really wanted to like take the time to thank everyone that like helped me with my car after the accident, like after I hit the wall. Uh, so shout out to like Ian Courtright, Melvin, um, the whole Misfits crew that came over. Uh, Tyler Garlett's the driver for Misfits. He came over. He was sorry because he was the one that was like behind me, like sort of tandeming me, while like right before I hit the wall, basically. So uh, he felt bad, and uh, you don't gotta feel bad, dude, if you're watching this. Uh, I know shit happens. Like I just got in my head, and I wanted to fucking keep up with you, but uh, yeah, it just fucking happened. It's wet out there. It's, slick as fuck on that freaking pavement and I uh, just lost control so it's not your fault um but yeah thank you to anyone that fucking came up and helped like misfits guys any random people that came up and showed support and wanted to like help me get back out there uh thank you guys so much like I appreciate it to the fullest like I don't know if I would have went back out there like I know I would have tried to like at least get my car somewhat good but I don't know if I would have went back out there you guys just gave me the motivation and everything and fucking supported me thank you but yeah now it's just back to everyday living uh, I know I've been sucking like I know I haven't been that great with like content at all like I don't know life's just been pretty shitty for me I guess like I don't really talk about personal shit on this uh, channel that much but I guess you could say life's been pretty shitty lately and uh, it's been really it's got me in like a really unmotivated mood with like the channel. Uh, I don't want to like quit making the videos because people keep asking me if I'm stop making the videos and stuff like that because I haven't been posting that much. And it's not because of that. It's just I'm in like a small rut now. It's just part of life, I guess. Uh, you have your ups and downs, and this has been like a long down for me, I guess you could say. Like just multiple shit going on in life, and some of it's not even that bad. It's just I have to put my priority somewhere else and take away from the channel just a little bit or a lot but but yeah like I have stuff planned for the channel and everything it's just my current living situation and stuff it's making it really hard and got me unmotivated to like actually get out there and work on my car like 
my apartment complex that I ended up moving into, like, I'm not allowed to do major work to the car or anything. Uh, like, I can't even do, like, an oil change. Like, it's forbidden here, uh, which is super simple. But that just, like, leaves a lot of other shit out that, like, I, I won't be able to even try to do to the car, which I want to do. Um, I don't really have, like, a shop available to me, like, anymore like I used to in the past videos. Uh, so it's just, like, a lot of factors that are playing into this unmotivated phase right now um but yeah just just know that i have shit planned and i want to fucking put out videos it's just i don't want to put random videos out like once a week or once a month they have like they just take forever to come out and then it's like i don't keep you guys hyped up on the channel like i want to have like a, a series basically where i have you guys hyped up on me putting out a video like once a week or maybe two videos a week like i used to and that's basically the route I want to take for this channel, but it's like fucking life right now. So uh, just bear with me, you guys. I'm not giving up on this channel at all. Like I want to fucking do this shit like so fucking bad. It's just where I'm at in life right now. Uh, I'll get by. I'll figure this shit out. I don't know when, but just bear with me, you guys. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for everyone at the drift event yesterday, East 10. Thank you for that freaking drift event. That was freaking awesome. Uh, and uh, later.